The next pattern we want to look at is quite a simple one, the service activator pattern. Sometimes we have a specific use cases which take a long time to run. So let's say I have a, this particular thing which takes about 20 minutes to run. Should I have the user waiting for this? What are the alternatives? So instead of blocking the user, what we would do is we would run these asynchronously. What we would do is we would kick off a thread or put it on a queue and we'll kick off a job. And once the job completes, we would find a way to notify the user. And this pattern is called the service activator pattern. What the, all that we do when a user tries to do an action is kind of kick off a job or put a message on the queue and tell the user, okay, come back or we'll tell the user, you'll be notified after some time and once the job completes, probably we'll send him an email or something of that kind. So this pattern is called a service activator pattern. The typical implementations of the service activator pattern are threads. I mean, you just kick off a thread and let the thread run. Or you can use a JMS, that's a queue. So you put a message on the queue, let some other system receive the message and handle the request and do all the work and at the end of the work it might send us a message back. The other possible implementation is a job form. So you would treat this request almost like a job. So what you can do is you can have probably a database table which holds all the list of jobs that has to be run. Whenever user does something, you put a job in the database, I mean jo job entry in the database. And let's say we have a job form which is reading from this database. I mean job form is nothing but a set of threads a pool of threads which are continuously monitoring to this database and see is there anything to do is there anything to do is there any new job to pick up and as soon as it sees a new job in the database it picks it up and it runs it and puts the result back this is something kind of a job form so these are the different implementations which are possible for a service activator frame uh, uh, pattern Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.